Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a install on a unit that I have from Genius Wigs. So I have one of those hinky straight units that comes with the natural baby hairs now. It's like one of those wigs that's currently popular when uh where you can basically get like a more natural hairline. So I did a video on this one. Um not this one, but I did a video on something similar. Probably like a week or two ago. It was recorded weeks ago, but I just up uploaded it probably like a week or two ago. So I'm going to throw on my cap, even though I really don't want to put on the cap. And I'm going to show you guys how the wig looks. And we are going to get this install ready. So the wig comes in this new bag. You also get a edge brush wig cap in an extra elastic band. So I have this wig in 18 inches. The density is 150%. And this is a basin by six lace funky unit. And I can already tell that this wig is pretty full, but that's just how kinky straight units are in general. Now with this one, I feel like the baby hairs look more realistic compared to the previous one I showed. They are much shorter. It just looks more natural. So I have a small cap and it should fit like a glove. So you do get that elastic band, adjustable straps, extra combs in the front and back. I'm not going to be using any other cones, but I am going to be using that elastic band. Mm -mm. And I'm going to try her on. Yeah, this is much better. The fit is perfect. I really don't want to take off my glasses because I need them to make sure like none of my lace is lifting up. But I'm, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off to show you guys. Look at this hairline. And these are the baby hairs. It just looks good. And it fits perfectly. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit. Should I, I don't even think I should can, need to cut off anything. Probably a tad bit, but this is a small cat. Wow. So don't so this is a closer shot of those baby hairs. You can see the knots on this loose wig. Only if you get up really close, but I think it looks really good. And the knots are also bleached. And I think it looks great. And I feel like I should have left that cap off because And it's looking a little too light. Now you can see like the bleaching. And it's a little over bleached on some parts. But I can always go in and fix that. Yeah, I'm not going to go in and um, I'm going to put a hot comb to this. But I'm not going to straighten it because it looks good. So I'm going to be using my little tweezers for this hairline. I'm going to have to take my glasses off really quick and then put them back on. But yeah, let's get started.
So this is the wig with no adhesive. This, wow. Wow. This is crazy. This looks amazing. So I'm going to be using this Wonder Lace Glue. Um, I picked this up from Amazon. I also have an Amazon storefront, so I'm going to leave that in the description box so you guys can check it out. So I put my glasses back on to make sure everything is laying how I want it to lay. And y'all, this hairline is crazy. This wig is amazing. Now, I'm, I'm, I want to say one thing. I first seen these wigs, I think it was on Instagram or TikTok. Um, it was a brown girl who started doing her wigs like this. I think the name of her business is like Crown something. Um, crown tresses or something like that. I don't know, but um, I originally seen this. Um, I originally seen her do this with her wigs, and um, yeah, this is crazy. But I love how natural it looks. It looks amazing. Honestly, I wish I didn't put that cat underneath. Like I said, you can see the knots, um, but other than that, this looks really good really good and like i said i'm not going to go in and straighten it up because i feel like y'all can get all of this naturalness it looks like it's growing out of my scalp So I'm just going to go in and define this middle part so you can see it a little bit. But other than that, I'm not doing anything else to this wig because I don't think you need to do. Well, this part is so damn crooked. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think this is one of those wigs where you have to do a lot too. Now, my only issue is that um, with lace frontal units, I always have. A problem with the uh, air tabs lifting up so I had to go in and touch them up a few times but uh, yeah this is why I kind of just like uh, leash closure wigs because it's much easier but yeah look at this I'm gonna put this up in a ponytail Now, I don't have a ponytail holder right now, so I'm going to just use this clip that came in the box just to show you how it will look in a high ponytail. I mean, of course, you can slick it up a lot neater than this, but that's what you're going to get right now. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks good. This is also my daughter right here helping me with this install. You can kind of see the cat right here, but y'all, what? So I'm about to wrap this video up. I really don't want to take this unit off because it really looks good. Um, you can run your fingers through it without a problem. 
I did get a little bit of shedding. It sheds a little bit. Um, just like running your fingers through the wig. Um, nothing too extreme so far that I've witnessed. But yeah, it looks good. I think the only thing that um, I guess would need to be worked on is the knots and uh, the over bleaching, which you can see a little bit of. But other than that, the hairline looks great. The texture, you can never go wrong with a kinky street unit. But yeah. So again, this is from Genius Wigs. I'll leave. <laughs> Look. Uh, what I tell you guys about those ear tabs, I absolutely cannot get with it. Um, yeah, but the ear tabs is lifting up. That's, you know, doesn't have anything to do with the wig. It's just the issue that I have with contours in general. You just have to, you know, cut an extra work so they won't lift. But I love the wig. Uh, it looks really natural. I'm in love with this hairline. It looks amazing. They did a, a great job.